Hello everyone, Flight ATC here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very quick tutorial on how to install your custom airport files for Endless ATC. This is going to be a really quick, easy tutorial, um, so I hope this helps you. Uh, keep in mind it's not on how to make or create or code the files, it's just on where to put them so that you have them in your game. So obviously I'm doing this for the Steam version today, but it is the same steps for the non-Steam version as well. Uh, you just It's a, just a different location in your file explorer, but um, I'm doing the Steam version because it's the easiest today, so uh, feel free to follow along here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your Steam library, and then you're going to find Endless ATC here in your menu, and you're going to right-click it, and go down to Properties. Then you go to Local Files, and then Browse. So then it's going to pull up your File Explorer here, so that's what we've got. Um, some of these files might be a little bit different, all these save games, because that's just all the games I've played. And obviously you've played different versions, or different, um, not different versions, but different realities of the game, I should say. So some of these files will be the different, uh, different for you, but basically the same thing. But what really matters here is the locations folder should be near the top. Just open that up. You should see example in here. Don't worry about that though. But this is where you're going to put the files. So if your file is all coded correctly and it's all, um, you know, it's coded properly and it's formatted properly and everything like that, all you need to do is either drag and drop the file into here or copy and paste it. So wherever you have the uh, file save, maybe it's on your desktop or in your downloads folder, wherever it is, just either drag and drop it into here or copy paste it. I already have it copied to my clipboard. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to put paste. And then you see endless YVR, that's the um, airport I've just installed. So that's Vancouver International YVR. So now that it's in there, go ahead up here to the top right and click reload. And then you can X out of that, X out of this, and then let's uh, fire the game up here and see if our airport installed correctly. Very simple to do. So let's go ahead and test that out. We click airport and then it's not going to be up here in the um, menu where all the uh, games that or the airports that come with the game are. It's going to be down here at the bottom. Passing 1 8 climbing to 7000. Pit Meadows VOR. And as departure. you can see, it has installed correctly because this is Vancouver right here. You can see here's all the other airports that are in the game, but down at the bottom is where your custom ones are. So down here in the bottom left, CYVR. And there you go. We've got the whole um, file loaded up and it's working perfectly. And that's how you install your custom airport files. If you have any other questions or if I didn't go over something that you're confused on, um, please let me know and I will try to help you out with that. If you want this file, um, I'm still trying to set up on the Steam Workshop how to attach files to that and um, stuff like that, but once I have it in a place where um, you know the general public and viewers can access it, I will put a link in the bottom of this video. So make sure um, you check that out if you want this particular airport, if you installed a different airport. 775. We are near Pit Meadows VOR. It's the Request same um, it's the same procedure for every airport file. So that's how you do it. We'll go ahead and next out of this. There you go, that's how it's done. So hopefully that was helpful. Again, if um, the file is available, which it will be sometime in the future, I don't know if it will be right away. But if there's a link in the description, that's the link to get to this, the file I just downloaded, if you want that particular file. Anyway, I hope that helped you out. Please consider subscribing, for sure. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook as well. And if you need more tutorials, you can let me know. And make sure you subscribe so you can keep up to date with them. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Contact Departure. Good day.